Matt in Honolulu, Hawaii, where I was born. I was born on Eva Beach a long time ago. <laughs> Matt writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, for best sound, is it beneficial to buy another pair of the same model of speaker cables to go to the subs? Or will cheap speaker cables to the subs still make it sound terrific? Um, there's this question of where to connect those cables to. Would it be better to have the second set of speaker cables going from the main speaker's terminal to the subs rather than from the amps to the subs? And if so, would that change the answer to my cable quality question? In one of his REL acoustic videos, John Hunter, my friend and a very smart guy, suggested that running the subs cables from the speaker was superior because it takes the signal that has come through the expensive, high quality speaker cables already connecting the amplifier to the speakers and adds those cables acoustic character to the signal going to the subwoofer. But then perhaps degrading if one uses cheap speaker cables to connect the sub to the speakers. What say you, sir? I say use cheap speaker cable like I do. And look at this beast. And it's hooked up with lamp cable. Um, <laughs> So let's, let's go over what, what, what's going on here. First off, I totally agree with John Hunter. The idea of using high-level speaker cables to feed a subwoofer is a great idea, and one I've been doing for years, long before John Hunter was doing it. Well, I don't know if that's true. All right, John Hunter and I have been doing it the same. So it takes the output of your power amplifier and to John's point, even if you do it afterwards, and puts that into the subwoofer. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but it does make a difference. So if you keep the sound of the, of the, the cable and the power amplifier as part of the subwoofer, it'll all sound more seamless. And as I have preached till the cows come home, as my mom used to say, we want the subwoofer to disappear. We don't want to hear subs. We want to hear their effects, but we don't want to have our heads go over and like, ah, I just heard bass, right? Don't want to go there. So we don't want to hear the sub. We want the sub to be an invisible partner to our main speakers. And the best way to do that is to incorporate as much of everything in the chain as we can into the sound of the subwoofer. So. Considering that the subwoofer has a high level input with high impedance, if you take your expensive setup and your expensive speaker cables and you feed your speakers with those, now you have your great main speaker setup. To then tap off of that into your subwoofer, whatever it may be, doesn't really matter on the quality of cables at that point because you've already captured the sound and it's a high impedance input. We're not dealing with any high frequencies. So I'm, I've never heard a difference of using higher quality from that point on. If you were going to try and feed your speaker with cheap lamp cable, now we draw the line. We don't do that. No, heck no. That's a bad idea. So don't do that, but use your good expensive speaker cables going into, the, uh, into your main speakers, then you can use whatever you want going to the sub. All right? Good luck. Aloha. Bye.